Good morning, everybody. You are joining me here in Oneonta, New York. So today I took a three hour drive upstate from New York City, and I am very excited that the Forward Tour joins Oneonta First United Methodist Church this morning. Oneonta is celebrating something big today. It is their 30th anniversary of becoming a reconciling congregation. What that means is that 30 years ago, they had a team in their church that worked with Reconciling Ministries Network, uh, which you can find online, rmnnetwork.org. Um, and so they had a team that worked through almost a year-long process to talk about what does LGBTQIA mean? What does becoming a church which seeks to celebrate all people mean? And how do we do that? So 30 years ago, they went through this process, and this process exists for churches and individuals today. I encourage you to go on to rmnetwork.org uh, and become a reconciling individual use yourself if you haven't already, and encourage your churches to join as well. But this morning, I'm really excited for you to hear from this church and from people from this church about their hopes for the United Methodist Church. As they look back at their 30 years of prophetic witness, uh, we're also going to look forward. Uh, forward to what does the future hold for their church and for the United Methodist Church. This morning, uh, my sermon is on the absurdity of faith and uh, looking at how things may seem absurd, and yet that's what God calls us to. So I hope you'll tune in, um, and in a little bit, you'll get to hear from some pretty amazing people from this church. We joined my husband and I uh, here at this church like 32 years ago, and the major thing I was worried about at the time was the AIDS epidemic, mm -hmm. because my closest friend from college had AIDS. And I came and I asked the pastor, so what is the church doing to alleviate the suffering of the people Affected, afflicted by the AIDS epidemic, and he said really not too much. And we became reconciling 30 years ago. My friend Rick was here and had communion with us two years before he died. I'd like to see the Methodist Church just accept everybody, because we're all human beings, we're all the same, we're just different in a few ways. There's no reason that we should be excluded from that. Um, I'd like to see more like younger people come to the church because it seems that we're getting to a certain point where most of the congregation is old and they'll die out eventually and then no one will experience God. Uh, I will second his um, conviction because I know that for a lot of that at his age, it's a lot of convincing the parents, people my age, to make the effort to keep bringing the kids. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the, the church needs to work on getting younger families, younger people in here, and uh, just in terms of some of the decisions that the higher-ups have made, it seems very short-sighted. If you have a population of people who want to be in the church, when church uh, membership seems to be declining, and you're saying, no, we don't want you, I, that just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, this uh, church means a lot to me. It was uh, a church that I actually chose. I'm a former Episcopalian, and uh, my husband was a Lutheran ELCA, and he was very much taken by this church as well. Um, it just means a lot. I've always felt accepted here. He's always felt accepted here. It's just a wonderful congregation, and that's that's what our entire denomination needs to be. It needs to be open and welcoming for all of God's children. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Sandy. I go to the Milford United Methodist Church, which is near Oneana. It's a small church. The oldest um, is, um, is trans, and he also moved back to this area. And... Uh, came to our church for a while, didn't feel real uh, welcomed, uh, has found a home church with the Presbyterian Church and is now going to go into the ministry with the Presbyterian Church, uh, who is, I think, farther along than the Methodists are, uh, but I, I hope that people can feel welcomed at all churches. Uh, and sometimes I think uh, churches feel that they're welcoming, but I think it's good to take a, a really 
both look, look, look at their hearts and, and are you being welcoming and are we living the way Christ wants us to live. All right, I told you, they were some pretty amazing people. I'm glad that you got to meet them. And as we continue this tour, it's my hope that as we see hopes for the United Methodist Church from around our connection, from Illinois last week, from Oneonta, New York this week, we're seeing our connection alive. We're seeing people who are committed to justice and Methodism at the same time because they're not incompatible. And so my hope is that as we continue this tour, you would share these stories and you would share your own story because our stories matter. It's important for those churches and those people around the world, and perhaps that's you, who don't have a reconciling church around them. People who may feel alone in their faith and their progressive and loving faith. And so these stories and your story has the potential to remind people that no one is alone, that we're in this together. No matter what the future holds for the United Methodist Church, we will go forward into it boldly together, speaking prophecy like Amos, following like Ruth. We are being led in an exciting time, and I'm glad that you are part of this movement with me. Remember, you can stay up to date uh, for everything that I'm doing, all of these different tours, by texting uh, FORWARD to 66866. That's forward to 66866. That'll put you on my monthly newsletter so you can keep in touch with me and all of the churches that I'm visiting. Um, you can also find me on social media at It's Me, JJ Warren. And I'm also excited to say that I have t-shirts available for the Forward Together tour so that all of us can see our connection when we travel places and see these t-shirts. So these t-shirts are available online, um, customink.com slash fundraiser slash um, forward dash together dash tour. There's a link on my website so you can find it there as well if you can't remember that giant URL. So thanks again for tuning in this morning and I'm excited to see where Forward Together takes us next. Have a good day.